Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we'll be going through the basic fundamentals of Microsoft Excel. Before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's discussion. So the agenda for today's discussion is, first we will understand what exactly is Microsoft Excel. Followed by that, we will understand the fundamentals of Microsoft Excel, the tools available in Excel, how to create a new sheet, etc, etc. Followed by that, we will enter the last part of today's session where we will have a demo inventory of Microsoft Excel, where I'll explain the fundamentals of Microsoft Excel in a practical way. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's get started with the first point, that is, what is Microsoft Excel? So, Microsoft Excel is a software product designed and developed by Microsoft for storing data in an organized way, that is, rows and columns. And, Microsoft Excel is also capable to manipulate data through some mathematical operations. Followed by that, Microsoft Excel is also used to extract the insights from the data and represent it in the form of visually appealing graphs and charts. Now we have a basic understanding or an overview of what a Microsoft Excel software product is. Now moving ahead we will understand the fundamentals of Microsoft Excel. So following are some fundamentals that you need to know before getting started with Microsoft Excel. So basically when you install the Microsoft Office in your computer, you will have various Microsoft products out of which Microsoft Excel is one of the products. So we will be dealing exactly with that particular product that is Microsoft Excel. So when you get started with Microsoft Excel, this is what you will see in the first page. So this particular page is called as Microsoft Excel homepage, where you will be having various varieties of sheets. Microsoft Excel will give you some suggestions based on the type of sheet you want to work with. We will see this in a better way through the practical session. So once you get started with the sheet, you will have some more options. So this particular option is called as the toolbar menu. You will have the file, home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, data, review, view and help. So these are the tools that you will be using to work on your data using Microsoft Excel. Furthermore, we have a toolbar ribbon. So when you select some or the other option from the file, home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, data, review, view and help buttons, you will have a ribbon. So for example, you can see that I have selected the home tool here. So when I press on the home tool, this is the ribbon which Microsoft Excel gives me. So this ribbon has some options in it which can perform various operations. Now in a further more detailed way, we will have toolbar groups. So when you see in the previous slide, we have a complete toolbar ribbon. So this particular ribbon is segmented into groups. So you can see the first group as paste, cut, copy, format, painter, etc, etc. And the second group is the font the size of the font and to increase the size of the font to decrease the size of the font bold italic underline etc etc and here you can see the text alignment so each and every group has separate functions so each set is called as a group and i think you can see a small arrow option over here so this arrow option is used into the toolbar groups when the group is not able to fit all the operations or all the functionalities in one single provided section. So when you click on this particular arrow mark, you will have another dialog box. So this is called toolbar more options. So you can see that when I clicked on this icon, you can see a new dialog box which opens me a new set of operations which are not able to be fit in this particular group. So we will also see more about this in a better way in the practical session. Now moving forward, we have cell and address. So when you open a Microsoft Excel sheet, you can find boxes. So each and every box is named as a cell and each cell has its own address. For example, the highlighted cell over here has an address B3. So B is the column name and 3 is the row name. And apart from that, you can have the sheet tracker in the bottom left corner of the Excel sheet where you can navigate through different sheets. And in the bottom right corner, you have an option of increasing or decreasing the sheet size. So these are the basic fundamentals of Microsoft Excel that you need to keep in mind before getting started. So we will have more on this in the practical session. 
If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So now we enter the demo inventory in Microsoft Excel. So we will be using Microsoft Excel to create a sheet of the employees in a company. So basically an employee in a company has employee ID, name, and designation, salary, etc, etc. So we will be trying to create the same table using Microsoft Excel. But before that, let us understand the fundamentals of Microsoft Excel through the practical demo first. So I have started my Microsoft Excel and this is how the home page of Microsoft Excel looks like. So you have a blank workbook over here. If you want to create a new workbook, you can select new option. So Excel will provide you with various variety of sheets. You can see money in Excel, adjustable meeting agenda, streaming show list, small business cash flow, and many more. If you're not able to find what you're looking for, then you always have an option of selecting the particular type of sheet what you're looking for. So you have various options. If it's business, if it's personal, if it's planners and trackers, lists, budgets, charts, etc, etc. So let's imagine that you wanted something from business. So just by clicking at business option, the Excel will load a variety of sheets related to business options. So this might take a while. So you can see that the Excel is loading few types of sheets. So you can see that Excel has provided us with some online varieties of sheets. For example, any calendar, business expenses, channel marketing budget, budget summary report, blue product list, etc, etc. You can see construction proposal, invoice, you name it, Excel has got it. So Excel will provide you with some variety of options based on your requirement. Now for this session, let's get started with a blank workbook, which looks something like this. Since this tutorial is based on the fundamentals, we'll go with the blank workbook. Now over here, you can see the toolbar that we discussed earlier that has the file, home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. So this is the toolbar and under the toolbar, I have selected home and you can see this is the particular ribbon what we discussed about this particular ribbon belongs to home page and when you select file option you'll get back to home and if you select insert option you'll have another different ribbon with different groups etc etc so every particular tool has different ribbons in them and remember the extra options that we discussed when you press over this arrow key this is it so when you press the arrow key you'll have few more settings which cannot be fit in this particular section of groups so you can have some variety of options over here of changing the font changing some effects to the text, font size and font style, etc, etc. Apart from this, we have also discussed about the cells in every sheet. So this particular cell has an address. So you can see the address over here, which is B3. So B happens to be the column name and 3 happens to be the row name. Now we also had a discussion about the sheet tracker. Right now we just have one sheet. If you want multiple sheets, you can just feel free to select on the plus option, which will always create you some extra sheets. And you can navigate through sheets just by pressing on the sheet name. And when you get back to the bottom right corner, you have an option of increasing and decreasing the cell size or the sheet size. Now let's keep it default with 100%. Now these are the few fundamentals that you need to keep in mind before getting started with Microsoft Excel. Now that we know the fundamentals of Microsoft Excel, let's get started with a practical session which is about the employees details in a company. Now let's select this particular cell and let's type in employee details. Yeah, we have the cell. Now an employee details table will have the information related to employees. So the information will be about name. It will be about employee number. It will be the designation and uh, maybe salary. And maybe blood group as well. And uh, let's take another one, which is phone number. Yeah. So, so far, so good. And uh, you can see that we have some problem with this particular column. The designation, the name, uh, the, the name of the designation is practically good, but it is not visible. So when you, uh, when you're not on that particular cell, you can see that the name is incomplete over here. So you can always fix that 
you can just you know manually change the size of the row or cell or you can also feel free to you know double click on that cell which will automatically you know set the size of that particular cell and same goes to the blood group just let's try to double click on that and same goes to phone number great so you can see that the employees details are just confined to the first two cells it's supposed to be somewhere in the middle right so no problem we can do that as well we can select all the cells and we have an option of merging them you can just select this one which will help you with merging and centering that particular data to the center part so that's how we do it now let's get started by adding the names of the employees uh, let's add the names Joe, John, uh, Mary, Mark, Susan, and then Jennifer. Let's type in Mike. Let's type in Tim, Jeff, Jeffrey. Yeah, we have a couple of employees. Now let's type in the employee numbers. Yeah, we have the employee numbers now let's type in the designation okay let's choose uh, joe to be the ceo of the company and john as the software developer and mary as tester mark and finance susan also in finance And Jennifer in testing. And Mike in uh, marketing. Same goes for Tim. And again, Jeffrey into software development. And uh, Morgan into testing again. Now let's click on C so that it gets, you know, resized according to the length of the text. Now it's done. So let's get into salary. Uh, $10,000. $15,000. $20,000. $19,000. Let's increase the salary of a CEO. So let's keep it $1 lakh dollars. And finance again, $20,000. So yeah, the salaries are allocated. Again, the blood group. Yeah, we have the 
blood groups. Now let's type in the mobile numbers. Yeah, now we have typed in some random mobile numbers as well. So, uh, yeah, this is how you can add in some data into your table. And now, let us imagine that you forgot to add or uh, remove a column. So, let's imagine that we wanted to add a serial number as well, but somehow we forgot to add it. Now, you can always add a new row or column. For example, here we wanted to add a new column. So, we just have to right-click on A, select the Insert option. Here we have a new row now. Now let's type in serial number. And let's type 1. Now can you see the small box option over here? If you just drag it, you can you know copy paste all those over here. And now let's right click and fill series. Now we have the employee number starting from 1 to 10. That's how you do it. And apart from this, you, you can also uh, you know change the font of the entire row you can change the font to say uh, our own e, and you can always also change the font and same goes to the employee table you can select it bold it and you can also increase the size and again select a color for the text maybe a different color green would be better and uh, you can also select the entire cells and align them to the center looks more good and you can select or double click the row names so you'll have the proper spacing between all the rows and columns so we have double click on the column right yeah so basically that's how you make things happen now let's save this so i'd like to go to the save option and uh, amp data let me save this in my local location and just save it's done so that's how you work on your excel file with some basic data and to learn more don't forget to get subscribed to simply learns youtube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated so you are the first person to get an update on any technology not just excel now let's get back to the presentation so with that we have come to an end of this basic knowledge in excel tutorial if you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this tutorial then please feel free to ask them down in the comment section below our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here